We're here at uh, the 2015 Repco Race to the Sky in Kadrona Valley and I've got the very famous Monster Tajima here to have a quick chat about his new Toyota 86. Our Monster currently holds the record here at Race to the Sky from uh, many years ago when they last raced it. He also held the unlimited record at Pikes Peak uh, in the last year before they finally sealed the entire hill climb. So he's no stranger to gravel hill climbs and he's a well known figure all around the world. So thank you for taking some time to talk to us here today, Monster. So first of all, you're, you're racing in the Unlimited class with this Toyota 86. Now, you've got basically a clean sheet of paper approach when you're building a car like this. Uh, can you tell us what your design philosophy is when you when you are designing this car? Yeah, most important is that we're the balancing. My center of gravity must be low and handling. Because the hill climb is always going up because of weight balance are the most important for traction. So gravel is very slippery, so we need a good traction. So this car, has the weight balance is perfect like this hill climb on gravel. So I think most important the weight lighter and the balance and also center of gravity is very low. This is like a, like a Formula One. You know? And you've achieved that weight balance with it's a, a mid-engine or rear-engine car and you've also got a central seating position? Yes, that's a, so I'm sitting in the centre because of the, you know, handling, you know, left-hand corner, right-hand corner, the, must be safe. You know? Okay, with the, with the gravel surface, uh, suspension travel is obviously a, a consideration, it's a bumpy surface, it's, it's not like driving on tarmac and I see you've, you've got a reasonably high ride height. How, how does the suspension development play into, uh, into the design? Yeah, suspension, yes, because we need a travel, you know, so suspension travel is the most important for, you know, like this car on gravel. So we need a very good uh, you know, travel and also bump and the rebound. And the balance also very you know, important, like this car. So I have a very nice tire from GT, and uh, I know that this tire has a performance, but uh, I need also very good uh, suspension layout. So this car is a double wish bone, you know, front and rear. So very good uh, handling and very good uh, traction with uh, this car. When you get to a hill climb, be it uh, Pikes Peak or uh, here at Kadrona, mm. uh, is there a, a lot of work goes into dialing in the uh, suspension settings, uh, spring rate, bump and rebound to suit the conditions? Yeah, totally different, uh, you know, between Pikes Peak and here, because Pikes Peak is now all shield, all asphalt, but here is, you know, the gravel, and now it's very slippery, and also some corner is a big rut, so totally different suspension setting, design also totally different. With that higher ride height that you've got for the rough conditions here, obviously now looking at the car, it, it, it's pretty clear that aerodynamics and downforce are quite important. And with that higher ride height, does that make it harder for you to get downforce with the uh, the tunnels under the car? Yeah, you know, because uh, Pikes Peak is a low clearance, it's very low, like a Roman's car. So, you know, speed is increasing and, uh, you know, aerodynamics are coming big. You know, but uh, here, as the road height is more, you know, wider, so uh, you know the downforce is not too much, you know. So most important, I think, is suspension tuning. The aerodynamics also, but the more important is the suspension tuning and tyre. With that downforce, do you actually have a figure or an estimate on how much downforce you're producing? I'm not sure. This this, this car set up here, so I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the, the engine. So you've got a V6 mid-mounted engine there. Can you tell us a little bit about the engine capacity, etc.? Okay, this one is uh, our original engine, you know, Monster Sports V6 3.2 litre twin turbo. And uh, now it's a uh, 680 PS, uh, HP, so. 680 horsepower, so uh, what sort of boost pressure are you using to produce that power? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, you know the, like a rally car, huh? We need a low RPM but a you know, high boost. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, uh, good traction, and good, you know, good uh, I think, uh, control. Yeah. And, uh, with uh, our management system, is uh, Australian management system, as a uh, Motec. So, Motec and the is is very good for this car. So, what we're getting, you're getting at there is it's not just about outright power, 680 horsepower, that's not really the, the whole picture. What you're trying to develop is a wide power band that makes the car easy to drive and easy to control on a loose surface? Exactly, because the surface is very you know, loose. So if, you know, like a, 
、like a drag race, you know, boom, cannot, you know, traction also cannot control, so must be controllable. So low RPM is the most important, like this, you know, condition.、Uh, for that low RPM, is it, can you tell us at what sort of、uh, RPM the engine makes maximum boost pressure? I think this one is today maybe five. Maybe five thousand five hundred around there. And the red line? Yeah, now it's eight thousand three hundred, I think. Okay.、Um, now you mentioned just briefly there you're using a Motec M800 ECU.、Uh, now there's a lot of strategies available with Motec or any engine management to help that power delivery. Can you tell us what you're using there? Are you using、uh, things like gear dependent、yeah. boost or anti lag? Yeah, that's us. We we have everything. You know, anti lag, traction control, and also you know. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Also, you know, sh uh, you know uh, uh, shift. You know, so、uh, we have everything. Yeah. And how critical is that in in getting that power to the ground in a car like this? Yeah, fantastic. We're very happy. Now, when you're when you're tuning, because you tune this car yourself, you were telling me before this interview. When you're tuning a car like this for an unlimited hill climb, where where you're Yeah, potentially under heavy load for minutes on end.、Uh, what's your tuning strategy there? Is there anything you keep in mind to make sure the engine's going to be reliable over the length of the hill climb?、Yeah. I think must be reliable because、uh, surface is very loose. You know, you know, you, we need the power, but、uh, must be controllable power. Otherwise, you know, just wheel spin on the gravel, so we're losing time. So must be controllable, reliable engine. So must be gently. Otherwise, you know, cannot be.、There. <laughs> Only wheel spin is no good, and I can drag this, you know. In terms of tuning for the altitude, the barometric air pressure, does that does that play into your tuning strategy? How important is that? As you're going the 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 length of the hill climb, you're getting quite a dramatic change in altitude. How much effect does that have on the tuning? You know, most also very important must be turbo turbo tuning is a very important hill climb because, for example, here I don't so high altitude, but.、Uh, Colorado is very high, so we need a you know pressure control by ECU.、Uh, otherwise,、uh, cannot. So here is、uh, not so difficult because it's not so high. Yeah. Now with the、uh, the tuning side of things, I'm I'm assuming you've got a lot of data logging on the car、uh, for a driver and a tuner. How important is that data logging on improving both the car and your driving? You know the data logging is must be you know. Good result, the good tuning tool. Otherwise, we cannot do. So data logging is the most important. So we 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 know exactly what's going on. So we we have we are very happy because we have a very nice logging system from、uh, Mote. So now we know everything. What is the logging system you're using? Well, well yeah. You know the Mote 800. You know. Oh, so you're doing all of the data logging yeah, through yeah. the ECU. Yeah, yeah, everything.、Uh, Lastly, the the transmission that you've got in the car. Obviously, it's four wheel drive. But can you talk us through、uh, the components in the the four wheel drive system? Yeah, this one is a four wheel drive system. The design by myself, and、uh, everything myself, and also front and rear is a very special differential. So this is all of them the designed by us. In terms of the differentials, front, centre, and rear, is there any special electronics going on there with the torque split, or is that all、uh, fixed mechanically? Yeah. This one is a no, because weight balance is perfect. So this is most important for like this car tuning. You know, if you know weight balance like a you know standard car, weight balance is not so good because front very heavy and rear not so heavy. So must be controlled by ECU front and rear balance. But this car already balance is perfect. So front and rear is always the same. But、uh, right hand and left hand we are always tuning. Look,、uh, it's been really interesting getting a bit more insight into the car monster.、Okay. It's、uh, early in the weekend, so thanks for chatting to us, and we wish you all the best for the rest of the weekend. Okay, thank you so much.